Transcend Mixed Reality, Mixed Live and VR, as you'll see. English, you can go to the official Some New Space YouTube channel and we have an English live stream for you there. Tak, a bez dalšího odkladu bych chtěl přivítat... Without any further ado, allow me to welcome Karol Janacek on the stage. Very good morning to you, everyone. Thank you um, that you found the time and thank you for coming. My name is Karel Janacek and I would like to welcome you most cordially to today's special press conference. My aim today is to present my world in virtual reality and the world's first ever um, presentation of a presidential candidate uh, in VR. However, uh, this is uh, not the most important thing. We are at a crossroads of history. As society today, we live uh, in a time which is in many aspects uh, wonderful and pleasant, but at the same time dark and extremely dangerous. We live uh, in a time which offers uh, incredible possibilities. Modern technologies offer us to communicate across the whole world, and it's not uh, important where we are. Uh, across the whole world, we can travel uh, fast and at ease. We can f even fly into space. We have at our disposal artificial intelligence, which can work with data, automate processes of all kinds, and thus save us time. In our cars and phones, we have navigation systems, thanks to which we can get practically anywhere. We have such advanced technologies that mankind could and should have the best time ever in its history. But is this really the case? The time of modern technologies offers a huge potential, but only provided uh, we handle them in the correct manner. For instance, uh, using uh, the uh, setup systems must not mean uh, that people um, uh, actually uh, lose their natural ability to find the way. Uh, the time spent uh, with a mobile phone uh, held in your hand or at a PC mustn't mean that uh, we become less fit. Availability of information and uh, entertainment online must not mean in the case that we stop reading books, going to concerts or to theatres. Modern communication technologies must not serve to promote lies and populism. Social networks mustn't work on purely commercial algorithms. Uh, constant uh, notifications, uh, ads and other impulses of the digital ones mustn't uh, weaken our ability to concentrate. And now the most important thing, modern technologies must not uh, turn us into its slaves and uh, rid us of our freedom. In order to succeed as mankind, uh, we have to achieve global society-wide changes, returning to values such as truth, courage, responsibility, respect and kindness. 
all that is precondition for correct use of modern technologies. Only then can we guarantee that we uh, shall have our independence of technology fully under our control. And in the case of outage of whatever uh, technology, we mustn't get um, uh, to uh, society-wide paralysis. I would like to direct your attention today to um, a wonderful technology um, uh, that is virtual reality and show you the positives and potential that this technology conveys if we handle it in the right manner. Imagine, together with me, a world in which uh, ill, bedridden people have a chance through virtual reali reality and chance to visit uh, their favorite places, meet with friends, or experience at least partially what healthy people do. Let's imagine a world in which our children do not have to memorize the dates and names of rulers uh, by heart, but they have a chance to visit uh, the given uh, period in history and thus understand important and historical context. Let's imagine the possibility to spend through the VR, for instance, an hour a day in any country and learn foreign language. Let's imagine, for instance, surgeons who can rehearse uh, completely new or extremely demanding surgeries. Um, in, in the VR space. Um, and uh, what would today's world look for in, like, for instance, in 21 years' time if we as society cannot return to truly essential values? Virtual reality based on uh, currently available data can show us that as well. I am truly happy uh, that today some of these examples that I've given you are not a mere dream but a reality. Uh, we could mention further and further possibilities that VR offers. However, let's now go back to why I have invited all of you here. Perhaps it doesn't come as a surprise that even in the case of virtual reality, I have the courage to seek new paths that I do not fear to pursue. Certain politicians have already made use of VR in their campaigns, but as far as I know, I am the first ever presidential candidate um, uh, who shall use metaverse in his uh, presidential campaign worldwide. So this is the first ever press conference of a presidential conference held live from virtual reality. I'm pleased that I can push boundaries and point out in this way uh, the vital uh, society changes, not only uh, in relation to modern technologies. I would like to introduce my virtual world to you and present it to you that is open to anyone, uh, anytime, uh, without any restrictions and prejudice. You'll uh, learn information about myself, my candidature to President of the Czech Republic. You'll have a chance to uh, take part in various types of meetings and discussions. Already now, you can, for instance, um, at C virtual exhibitions entitled 21 Works for Ukraine. All digital works um, will be available uh, until the uh, 17th of November uh, when a big auction will be held, uh, the proceeds of which shall be dedicated to helping Ukraine. Perhaps you may wonder that all that is very nice, but only few individuals will be able to afford this world, those who have special glasses and uh, have um, uh, uh, powerful computer. It is not the case. You can very simply uh, log in uh, the 2D version of the virtual world from your desktop at home and soon from your mobile phone as well. It won't be such an experience as compared to the VR headset, but it can be done. If any of you, however, would like to try out the full experience from virtual visit, uh, uh, over the next three weeks, you can come here to the VR uh, Park uh, here at Venceslas Square and visit my world free of charge. This space, this, these premises where we are now, shall also serve as a collection point for uh, signatures for my candidature from now on. I'll ve be very happy if you leave your signature here for me. I firmly believe that modern technologies shall play a positive role also in addressing current crises uh, from which we may uh, eventually emerge stronger than ever. I'll personally uh, do uh, what I can. That is my commitment. That's why um, I'm a presidential candidate um, to be able to efficiently uh, and meaningfully help as much as I can. And uh, in conclusion, allow me uh, one special surprise. I'd like to welcome a special guest uh, on the stage who has come to see us from uh, 
America. It's Isaac Indy, co-owner of Century 21 and founder of ISG, virtual deve developer in Metaverse. Isaac is 72 and he spends up to several hours per day in Metaverse. Let's listen to why he is a big believer in this technology. Come to the stage. Where's my hand? Uh oh. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. My name is Isaac S. Gindi, founder of ISG and owner of C21 Department Store, Century 21 Department Stores, based in Manhattan. The reason that I'm here today is first I want to thank Carol for that beautiful introduction and keep going forward. Oh, I'm sorry. Here you go. Okay. All right. Okay, here I am in the wonderful world of the metaverse, which is incredible. And uh, I started ISG, it's a metaverse platform, Insomnium. And the reason why I picked Somnium is because it's the only true virtual reality 3D experience that exists today, light years ahead. It's light years ahead of any other competition that's in this space. And always being a disruptor in business and believing in futuristic things, I believe that the metaverse is here to stay. Today is a very historic day. Every revolution, the Industrial Revolution, everything that happened in the world that changed the order of the future of what's happening in the world started with a new disruptive technology. By being here today and witnessing that a politician could come and run to be president in the metaverse will go down in history. The future will be that people will be debating and voting and being in the metaverse. The metaverse is going to become a way of life. Basically what we're building is if you're in Brooklyn and somebody's in Hong Kong, you could come and you could meet, you could socialize, you could shop, you could learn, you could study, and you could visit and see performers, and it's going to just be a way of life. I personally spend many, many hours a day in the metaverse, in Somnium, which, by the way, is built after this beautiful city, the physical city of Prague, which is the first time I'm here, and it's a pleasure being here, as it's really gorgeous, and the people are fantastic and very welcoming. So where the future is going is in the metaverse. It is unstoppable, and it's going to be the next realm of socialization for the human race. The thing that I have in common with Carell, which I met recently and I think is a phenomenal human being, is that we both believe the key to the metaverse is it's decentralized. People could do what they want, feel what they want. Government is not watching them every minute and telling them what to do, how to act, and giving them the freedom to be creative and to do great things to change the world and make the world a better place to live. And I believe that Carl has those same beliefs, and I want to thank him for being courageous for this new venture to be the first one to legitimize running for politics in this beautiful metaverse. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, metaverse enables you to fly.
Děkuji vám, dámy a pánové. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming to our event. Thank you for having the chance to look into the future of the world. I believe that we will do the best for our children for our next life because this time is critical and I decided to accept my part of responsibility and run for the uh, function of President of the Czech Republic. Have a lovely day. Can you put my microphone on? One second. For those who will want to try for those who would like to try VR at the backstage, you can have a look at Carol's work right now. You can meet him in the virtual reality. You can have a look at the environment he's now been at. So let's try it and thank you very much.